Dear friends of the autoimmunity network all over the world, here I am again to remind you about the Congress of Autoimmunity, the 12th Congress, in 28th of November until 1st of December in Athens in Greece, in which we hope that we will have wonderful weather as well as the best program ever. You can enter the website and see already the program, but you still can add abstracts or any other suggestion. Today I would like to remind you that following the corona pandemic we will have a special session or maybe two sessions which will relate to the effect or relationship between the uh, COVID-19 and maybe aspects of autoimmunity. I will start first with an interesting and picantic aspect, and this is the smell and the COVID-19. And uh, this has two actually aspects. One is the diagnosis of the patients. In uh, at least several studies, it has been found that a significant number of the patient at a very early stage, they lose their capability to smell. Actually, at the same time, they lose the capability actually of taste. We don't know really why it is. Is it because of destruction of some receptors in the cribriform fossa and the olfactory bulbs? Or is it additional aspects specific to this virus? We do know that um, losing the capability of smell characterize at least 10 different autoimmune diseases from systemic lupus with CNS involving to systemic sclerosis and other autoimmune diseases. It actually, it is associated with specific autoantibodies like anti-P ribosoma that has been shown to induce the effect on the hippocampus or the anti-NMDR. But the smell is most probably associated also with the capability to quickly diagnose patients who suffer from the COVID-19 infection by using the swab and testing it in what we call electronic nose, like we do with the explosive materials uh, at the airport. And it might be that this will be the proper test to quickly determine do you have uh, infection with the COVID-19 or you don't have, can you embark the uh, flight or you cannot embark the flight or enter a concert or the Congress and so forth. So as we can see, the smell is a very picant aspect of uh, this viral infection. But there is another aspect that might be of a great interest to us autoimmunologist, and this is the autoimmune aspect. And it seems slowly, slowly, that different autoimmune phenomena, condition, um, symptoms, and some laboratory data emerge to associate with the um, infection with the COVID-19. Let's start with the anti-cardiolipin and anti-beta-2 and the thromboembolic phenomena, phenomena which are uh, regarded to determine the prognosis of the patient, including in pathological analysis of slides of unfortunately um, patients who succumb to the infection. And this immediately raised the issue of um, uh, implementing anticoagulant therapy. Moreover, as we know, also the catastrophic antiphospholipidinum with its cytotoxic stone remind also other autoimmune phenomena like the macrophage activating syndrome in cases with systemic lupus and the therapies of these cytokine stones are actually learned from autoimmune rheumatic diseases and other with anti-cytokinic uh, uh, therapy. 
But recently, more data emerged to relate the virus to autoimmunity, and it's not surprised because every virus can do it, including the flu virus, like, for instance, cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome, as well as Kawasaki syndrome in children, but recently also myositis was reported, and myocarditis was um, reported, as well as neuromyelitis optica. This may raise some questions in the future for the vaccine, since we know the similarity in peptide between the virus and our own constituent, as well as between the constituent that will be incorporated into the vaccine. Will the vaccine raise some autoimmune phenomena like the Guillain-Barre syndrome, very similar to the flu vaccine? We don't know. We will have to learn it in the future. So basically, in the meeting, I hope that we will discuss all these aspects and hopefully we will generate and accumulate a lot of information to discuss these aspects in the 12th Congress of Autoimmunity in uh, Athens, in Greece, and as I said, I can promise everything in Israel because it is the Holy Land and we have a local phone call to God. But we have found recently that it relates also to Greece and our God or our connection or the Zoom connection can also predict what will happen also in Athens in our Congress of Autoimmunity. See you in the Congress with your wonderful abstract and presentations. Bye-bye.